This is the N9 LVS Mobile, a 2015 Jeep Cherokee, which I purchased in late 2015. The heart of the system is this dual wound aircraft alternator. When placed in series, gets us the 48 volts we'll need for the amplifier. For HF, I run a Yezu 857D, mounted right to the dash, which gives me heads up capability. The radio itself is mounted underneath the driver's seat. The amplifier for the mobile operation is the ALS 1300, mounted just behind the rear passenger seat. The remote, however, for the ALS 1300 is mounted just left of the radio. Needless to say, with running a 1300 watt amplifier, the antenna has to be a little bit more beefy. So I'm running the Wolf River Coil Silver Bullet 1000, connected to a 102 inch whip. The mount itself is built from one inch Schedule 80 square tubing. One bolt running through the outside support of the fender. The other part is actually mounted to the frame itself through one of the assembly holes. This is what the assembly hole looked like before installing the mount. I removed the rubber grommet and it gave me more surface area to actually fix the mount to. I also fixed the ground strap at a secondary location on the frame, thus binding the entire frame. For VHF and UHF, I run a Kenwood V7A, affixed to the side of the console on the passenger side. The wire for that runs up through the taillight assembly into the antenna, which is a Larson 270 mounted on the luggage rack. And what would a modern amateur radio vehicle be today without APRS? I'm running a GPS puck stuck to the top of the dash as close to the window as I could get it. For the APRS unit, I use a Bionics Microtrack RTG, which is a 10 watt APRS tracker, which I have mounted behind the glove compartment. The antenna itself is actually mounted behind the front fender well on the passenger side. The reason I did this is the fender well itself is all fiberglass, but it has a nice piece of steel plate holding it on. And that's a quick overview of the N9LVS Mobile. I hope you find this video interesting. And 7.3s from N9LVS.